pull that I, off. I legit thought you were going to go, tell us who you <laughs> think is going to get, which club is going to get the most eliminations. And I thought there was going to be like a dot, dot, dot. Fortnites. Oh. That's what I thought you were going If to everyone be. isn't a Fortnite fan at this point, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, there you have it, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. If you do not uh, support the Fortnites, you need to change. <laughs> Kitty who's uh, confused. You need to. <laughs> Fortnites is apparently the only team. Oh. Uh, as told by Kitty. So there you go. Now we are starting. The battle bus has launched. Now we're gonna get to see where players are gonna hop out and where they're gonna decide to land. Not a lot of people jumping out early this game. You see a lot yep. of people in that center. I mean, getting battle buses like this that are just kind of right through the center, it gives a really easy opportunity for everyone to get to all the zones they want and start looting and farming early. Like when you're flying for forever, trying to get to that corner spot, it's, it's you know, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's, it gets a little boring when you're in the air for a few hours. A few and hours. <laughs> <laughs> flying over to Paradise Palms. Or where did you call it? The Pueb Pueblo. 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 Yeah. That's what, yeah. Oh, we Different see four clock. teams looking at the island. Oh. <gasps> oh now, here's oh, the thing. We've seen Kinsar and Hunter. They go Greasy Grove every time. Right. So, the question is, are the are two they diamonds, green? is that them? Or are they the ones are on the island right now? Are they Find the red ones? Find out on tonight's episode. Is that episode? like a mustard color? It's, a, you know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> uh, over, look, so we got oh, here, we got games a perspective of it. So, we do have, we have an Atlantis player up here. Looks like there's five players actually. Whoa. Four players. Ooh. They hopped off. That was I think that was the way to go. Just you know what? You guys own this. I'm gonna just bail. <gasps> Daylo has dropped really low though. He's down. What? He I don't know where he was. He was pretty <laughs> far, but he goes down. Yeah. Oh, Look at okay. him. <laughs> he got shot mid-air and he just falls. So this is one of the best things in the game, I think, to use when you're on this island is if you do get knocked, you can just slowly coast down to the bottom and wait for your teammate to stop by and get you back up. But, I mean, in a game like this, people are definitely going to be punishing that. Immediately hopping off, Reflection goes and gets the finish while his teammate continues to loot up top. Over and oh, one of my favorite paradise. places to be. I just, it's a great I place. love the desert area. It's so bright and happy, and there's lots of rifts. It's just, it's my happy place. It's your happy place. If you place. guys want to try and find me in game, that's where I'll usually be. For a few seconds, loot, then rift out and want to fight right away. <laughs> 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 that's fair to say. Zacubus is here with oh. his teammate against the likes of SSK. Getting the early launcher is so nice. Mm -hmm trying to take advantage of that, but it doesn't look like anything's landing on the other team. I mean, by this point, these players definitely know what to what to do to compensate for him having the launchers. So they're just going to back off. I mean, he's looking for <laughs> to see where he's sitting. Oh, we do have some uh, some frags. Let's see it, Sanity. Who frags who? Find out. Oh, whoa. Ooh. There you go. Whoa. Sanity takes down, but he is hurting. <laughs> and now, uh, hopefully, there's freaky. no teammate waiting. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> now, Freaky's there. Oh, no uh, way. My favorite weapon in the entire game the blue hunting rifle. This is just one of the most fun to use. It's quick reload. Oh, and his teammate, Freaky, wasn't able to save him. Nope, he had to abandon him, unfortunately. And now it is a 2v1. Oh, you definitely don't want to be in a house having two different people closing in from each end uh, <laughs> in this situation. It's trying to get out. It's trying to become the bread. Become the bread. Become the bread. <laughs> uh, looks like they're trying to close in on him now. He's running. He's booking it. I mean, in this situation, your teammate's down. Uh, you definitely want to get to a position where you have the advantage. And right away, you see him taking the high ground. I think that was a great play by him. Uh, but against all these guys, they're all very, very talented players. Uh, having the high ground, you, you don't have it for long. You like that one second break he took, immediately he had it taken from him. And now, I mean, he's just... <laughs> all right. He gets cracked once. He's yeah. super low. They're looking to clean it up. There you go. I mean, yeah, that, that, that kind of situation is tough to deal with. And I think, I think he did his best. And... I mean, these are they're talented guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he's a, taking a the nice chug. chug. The slurp chug. is right there. The slurp is right there. No. Okay. Maybe he wants right. to stack the slurp. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's hard to say, but no. over to Pleasant. Alpha Powder. Alpha Powder. Al powder Alpha. Hmm. I'm going to work on that. But <laughs> they're at Pleasant Park. It looks like the other duo is disengaged. Let's check out this replay coming in from Windwalker. We're in Salty. So Windwalker and Via Linen, oh, they've been doing an amazing, amazing job so far. I think they are, I believe, third place behind Mitro and uh, the Solary duo. So they, they getting those early uh, eliminations are really, really uh, helpful for them. So, oh, 
Oh. Razor and Lou. Oh, that's what I like to see. They are sitting <laughs> here like, dividing and I conquering. I like this angle. <laughs> okay, these are my boys. These are my boys. Trying to take out Leah and John John. Um, haven't seen a lot of the replays from Leah and John John today, but Razor is definitely looking to uh, take these two out. Taking the high ground right away with that grappler. And he's, he's got that nice slurp waiting for him when he's done this fight, hopefully. So. Okay, you know, you take a moment, you just like top off. What do you oh. think a slurp tastes like? Uh, maybe like blue raspberry. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. People try to like tell me other stuff like blueberry. I'm like, no, that's a that's a chug. Or not a chug, sorry. A big slurp. Ah. Why can't I think of the name of it right now? <laughs> but a, re a regular slurp definitely spot. tastes like blue raspberry. I agree. Nom, I agree. Nom, nom, nom. I'm glad we agree on this. This just, is why I brought you on the show. Just, just, just to agree with me. Excitement. <laughs> <laughs> is this rules coming up right now? Rules. It no. Is. This is your team. Please. Uh, here's the thing. Oh. I know working together the as teams, and I and I know that, but you know, I just I'm hopefully predicting that rules will just you know take this nice little rift. Well, now, yeah, look. So, but direction. rules is down by Motown. His teammate is kind of like walking down the the, Ooh. the little walk there. So, Tixie may not high engage. ground on this. So, Toma and Tixie sitting high ground over two teams fighting down here. So they're going to be able to take really nice, easy pop shots from the top. Looks like you hear those snaps coming down on them. And uh, Stanny and Lefou. Ooh. Ooh. Stanny's down. But again, Yarl. when you know there's those teammates up behind you, making sure that you're getting those walls behind you is going to save your life. And uh, Stanny pays for that. Ooh, Eni just went down to Nova. We saw a few really amazing Nova plays last game. <laughs> Looks like Tixie and uh, his teammate are just making nice little bases up at the top. I don't really see them trying to take any shots down below. Yeah, they haven't really aggressed, Ooh. which is, I mean, they, they've got advantage, right? Like, they can just push up on these guys and make plays, but. And I don't know if they know that Masta is turtling below them either. You know what? I think that's a safe bet because they probably, if you're watching them, you know they just eliminated a player, mm -hmm. but they, they eliminated on a down. So you know that there's someone still up somewhere. There's at least two squads, yeah. yeah. Harmy, show us what you're working with. And, I oh, mean, Daedra's really low. <gasps> He's got oh, the rocket launcher. Oh, that's not a position you want to be in. They've already taken down Jules. He's trying to close you in. You need the one to action. There you nice. go. Fia Fiona Meds gets the Elim. Now, here's the thing, though. They're in the storm. It's only going to be taking for one. Not too bad. And I didn't see how far they have to run either. So it might they might be really close to it if they took that much time to go and fight. And you see Masta. So he was our original winner uh, first game. And he's just, he's just hanging out. He's like, yeah, you guys can take these shots. I'm not... I'm not too keen about being the meat. I'm just going to wait until I become the bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This analogy is now seriously the best. I can stop with that No, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Tixie, though, getting aggressive nice, here. Nice, Tixie. And I don't think he was expecting Ooh. to take so much damage there either. It looked like a lot of his floors got shot out. Toma must have heard Masta because you see him kind of making his way through the build up on the hill. And Razaru and Lou. They Trying to evade the fight. I mean, the next zone's pretty far. 69 remaining in the lobby. Yeah, so but it looks like these guys are these guys are hungry for kills. We haven't seen a lot of Connor Carnifex. I'm not sure how many points they have. Um, but when it gets down to that fifth and sixth game, you definitely see people playing a little bit more aggressively. Like they they want to be on that board. <laughs> I think nobody wants to end this with zero points. Um, so you'll you'll see teams that we haven't seen before starting to change up their plays and often for the better. I think when people play a lot more confidently and more aggressively, you'll see uh, it working out for them a lot more. For sure. And I mean, look, Razor is literally surrounded. You've got a team flanking from the left, from the right. He does have the launch pad. Yep. I don't think he uses it, though. I don't think he needs it. No. Yeah. You definitely want to save something like the launch pad till later game. And they have enough resources and they have enough time and distance between these players that they're not in any danger. They could easily post up, try and get high ground, and then take the shots. But they really, Ooh. what they're trying to avoid right now is becoming the meat, I think. But they're they're already becoming it. Oh, actually, it looks like the the team from Lazy's not trying to push in. So I got time. Just do your best with these two. Come on, Lou. They've got it. Carnifex here closing in. They know they hurt Razor. He's been he's been damaged. The Lou is still up top. So he's taking out everything. Yeah, he's trying to bring this whole but structure down. But I think down. Razor, he's a good duo. He's making sure that he's reinforcing this build. Kane and Carnifex. Someone just dropped down. Razor dropped down, looking for 
the limb. Razor the pain kind of sneaking around behind. Actually, both of them are sneaking around below them. Um, oh. oh. Oh, that's not his. That's not his oh. name. So that's Orb and Sakoner who are also on the Fortnite. Who are pushing in now with explosives. And when you're someone like Razoru and you're only gonna have 75 health, getting knocked by one of those explosives, it's what you want to avoid. Sometimes you can tank it. I believe they do 150. How much do the explosives do damage right now? I'm gonna look, I'll look that Which up after one? this game. Just regular grenades. Uh, is it not 100? Is it just 100? It one, or one, one, oh, maybe 150? OK, I, I should know that. I'll look that up after this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you when you're sitting on 75 health, you definitely have to be very, very, very careful about oh. not taking. Ooh. <gasps> Airwalks. Not able to down. get that angle. I think Nocito just, or Noxito, just really found the jump through and uh, just, I mean, when you're peeking from different angles, it's it's difficult. He, he saw him before. Uh, was it Airwalks? Was able yeah. to see him? Yeah. Yeah. He was hopping. He was like above him. And then yeah. he just comes down and he catches him off guard. He's like, I hear you. I know you're here so. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh. Carniflex still alive. Uh, so, Connor getting a knock on the pain, who's his teammate right now. And he's sitting with 24 health. So, I'm curious to see what's happened. Oh, my It looks goodness. like they must have taken out Razoru because I don't see anyone else in this area. They are getting aggressive. There you go. They, All right. se they secure the Elim. So that's two, two for the squad right now. Ooh, look at how much, look what they have access to. They've got the shockwaves, they've got the grapplers down below. They've got more ammo. They've well, got there should be launcher. more sets of loot here. I'm not sure if uh, Razoru decided to use his jump pad and get out of that situation because he was also Nox. in that fight as well. Uh, so we just saw Nox get a nice kill, uh, elimination, but I mean, look at. Look at his health right now. He definitely is going to try and get in the zone. <gasps> Shockwave grenade. Shockwave. Yuke's oh, no. grappling. That's, yeah, grappling. Yuke's just oh. took a lot of damage, actually. Ooh, and Nox yeah, finally going down. Marijuana and Inclyde spotted them and took the shots. They're closing in. Yuke so, has no health. Yeah, that's definitely, you want to be the first ones in the zone. Looking back at these guys who are, you know, low health, trying to escape the storm. But great positioning by them. Camo and, and Steel Bree. So and they the got corrupted. one elimination together. It's not bad. Over to high style Still 55 left. They're here in an engagement. Looks like they also do not have eliminations. They're probably, that's reflection. They take him down. Ooh. Now, where is his teammate? Up top, it's Villex. They're trying to bring him down. They don't have much in the way of AR bullets. 26, that's just a single He's clip. He's got a lot of uh, small ammo, though. So he should <laughs> Villex could shockwave and bail. He could even launch pad and bail and just ensure that they can't use it. But he's got 30 <laughs> HP. Ensure that they can't use it. Let's take it from them. I mean, he's got those seven uh, loads. He, if he could get the right angle on these, maybe backboard it. And that's, you see that's what he's doing. He's trying to knock it off of the other structures to have it reflect back onto these two who are just kind of coasting like below him. And... Um, he is going to have to move for zone, but he's got a bit of time. He's got the two shockwaves and the... Uh, <laughs> he's he's, trying he's to be really sneaky. trying. And it's, I mean, when you're up above, having uh -oh. that angle is quite difficult. And already you see that these guys know that the structure isn't propped up by much, and they're looking to take it down. But he senses that and takes time to move. And There you go. He's to gone. To infinity. Look he's at him go. even firing back. Oh, okay, all right. He still uh, had the act. Oh, uh, okay, high styled was prepared. So I think his decision to take the shockwave is definitely. This is going to get me out of here really quick. Uh, something about the jump pad is it is a little bit slower through the air. Um, so he knows that he's super low health and he just needs to get out and hopefully not have them take shots on him. But ultimately, awkwardly built and took some fall damage. Yeah. Just so. Oh, you see, disaster. still Bree. Getting a lot of shots. Already Ooh. had one a limb before this fight. So I believe now it's two and Camo picking up one, two. It's three. It's a great fight for them, right. but they got to keep moving for the zone. Ooh, leaderboards. Let's check this out. Yeah, SSK three right at the top. Three people sitting with four. So his teammate's four. down. Yes, yeah, so we got two. Uh, oh, wow. We have four Deidre, Yuke, Toma. And keep these, in mind, are, these are players Yuke's Deidre, that we, all out. I mean, other than Tixi, these are players that we really haven't seen up here that often. So I think a lot of these uh, guys are choosing to change up their strategy. They're going full send. They're like, we got two <laughs> games left. Yeah. Time to go. I love, this is like, this is when it gets interesting. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You know what? Camo should just use that chiller. 
<laughs> just slide Chiller. on That's out. right, slide on through. And you see Bree is actually really low, so any shots connecting is really not going to be too great for them. And, ooh, we got an apartment fight. Let's go. ONF Evil and High Styled versus Eastman Dementos. Now, here's the thing. They're not really getting aggressive. They're just kind of like hanging out, chilling. Oh, this is oh. what I like to see. It's the corner and Orb with the slows. And look at Bree. She, oh, I'm not sure if guy or girl. Uh, bouncing around with two health. And oh, still Bree's very low. That's They could like just look hard and kind of oh, angrily. It's still Bree. There it goes. When you're oh. fighting like that, you never... Uh, <laughs> When it's getting chaotic like that, if they would have put up a wall on their left, they would have survived. But as you can see, they're actually taking fire from a team that's just north of the lake as well. So sometimes you just get so focused on one team that you forget to put up a wall on the other. And then that's when, when you're that low, any tag coming through is going to be the end. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy to see Orb and Sakona do well. They're great Fortnite players. <laughs> You can see here, we've got uh, Ergonist over there with Wixie, Lazy as well, and then not too far away, Wedge. Someone just took a, a shot, a second Fear one as snipes. well. Yeah. They're being real cheeky. Being <laughs> brave about it too. I appreciate and that. And if you're uh, Siba below and you know there's someone sniping on top, you definitely want to make sure that you're making your move to the zone in a strategic way. So yeah. you know these guys have a sniper above you. You want to definitely be building something above as you move towards the zone. Uh, and this is really when people can start using that build um, maybe a little bit more aggressively to get to zones because the, the runs aren't as far and it could be uh, the difference maker in terms of health or even just getting headshotted and knocked. So, Man, yeah, take a look at this, this new This is interesting. I'm, I really, one of my favorite things in this game is when we have uh, uh, zones that move on top of the mountains. So yep. if one of these final zones moves on top of that hill, you're really going to see uh, the interesting ways that players have come up with for strategy on dealing with that. Um, cause it's, it's an entire different ball game. Yeah. Often we see if you face a mountain in the final circles, mountain wins. Just about yeah. every time. Unless you, like, make the smart decision and rotate mountain early. Mountain Storm. Who are you voting for? <laughs> uh, you know, man, Storm is well, actually the Inherit second best player in the entire lobby. Do that <laughs> every game. The Storm is the second best player in the lobby. That's great. Because they eliminate more people than pretty much everyone combined. Yeah. Yep. I mean, especially in those final zones. It's, oh, yeah. It gets difficult. Oh, yeah. When it's when taking it for, for 10. 10. Yeah. yeah. And You're it like, takes quick. Oh. Yeah. It's, I feel like it's... It, it's basically like a second, but it yeah. feels like so much faster because you're just like 10, ah, ah, it's stacking, no. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, the mountain. I, I played against the mountain. I should have listened to Kitty. <laughs> I just I, I just find, you know, any time that it's a little bit of a different zone rather than just flat, like when we saw the salty plays and people running through the houses and looting as they go and replacing walls as they go, it's just makes for some interest in Fortnite. That's right. My favorite. <laughs> Your favorite. Yay. This is it. Oh, Sakona got another. I think that was a full limb. Oh, Hunter and with his are alive. He's putting these uh, grenade launchers like, to work. Yeah. This is. They got four. They got that extra point. Um, I believe they were already sitting on five points on the leaderboard. I think these guys are doing quite well. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how many more they can Explode. pick up. And, oh, there you go. 100. He pops 100. 100. Okay. <laughs> that is what you like to see. So he's only got. One more explode left. I think he was definitely hoping that would bounce a little differently. Um, and I mean, he can't see the player through the wall the way we can. So <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't. Uh, I don't. I don't think oh, if I'm him, I don't think. Oh, seven. Oh, so wait. Uh, wait. That was, that, was that his team? Wasn't that in the? So I, I'm confused. Okay. I'm scared. Was, I mean, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh, I think that was his teammates. Like his. Oh yeah, yeah, his teammate. Like, he didn't take any damage it. from that. Yeah. Okay, TC yeah, and Tom. Yeah, Aragonist. Aragonist rather has grenades as well. Yeah. That was really scary. Yeah. And now we are down to 30 players. He's just keeping players. his teammate, you know, on edge. He wants them to be playing at peak ability, and sometimes you just need a little explode in your one by one. For oh Ooh, my he gosh! Got a nice Look at this. They have seven eliminations, Kitty. Yeah, I was just looking at that. They're one away. Yeah, one away, and that's a big difference maker. Getting that third point was really, really having a huge effect on these teams. So they're definitely looking for that. There's plenty of opportunities so far for it. So let's. Let's see how, oh, Sakuna getting knocked by Hunter and eventually eliminated by Tixi. So all these guys are fighting in a really close range if you're seeing uh, different teams get the finish on other people's knocks. Can start getting an, looks like a limb on Siba. 
I'm not sure where those two are sitting. So they have four limbs right now. No They're bonus points, but... Look at everyone trying to take ones. down the raid bosses. You have literally three different duos all firing toward them. Yeah, and they just got and eliminated. And they got eliminated. Wow. One and then Orb going three. down to Teeksy. Oh, so uh, Aragon just got his ape. So Kessie and Aragon, is, they just got eight points, which gives them three total points. Uh, and two times multiplier for next game. So Now, here's the thing, Kitty, though, is remember, the player, the duo that gets the highest eliminations per, in a single game oh! is going to walk away with 50k. You're so right. they have this is more their opportunity. opportunity. Yes. So not only are they tied, I mean, it would, I'm assuming it would be split three yes. ways. Mm -hmm. So if they get one more, they are the top, and they are in line for that 50k bonus. They just have to clutch it up. That's a lot of prize money. Even if they get just one more elimination. That's pretty life-changing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now, here's the thing. So what do you do in this situation, right? You've got the eight elimination, so you definitely have the multiplier going to the next game. If he, you're Aragon and Squixie... Exactly what he's doing right now. He knows he has the jump pad. He knows that a lot of people are going to be playing this very... Uh, yeah, exactly that. So he was looking to see if he could get an easy frag. Now he's looking to get the high oh, ground on him. Missed it. Oh, it's, oh. Again, you really don't want to take that damage when you're parachuting. Yeah. So landing as quick as possible is important. These guys will, any time they have a chance to get that damage on top of you, is they're going to take it. And you got to expect that. So him missing that high ground. Ooh. Oh, missing it, but going back for they it. They are like. so high in the sky right now. It's making me a little nervous. And that's, yeah, so his teammate, they have high ground. They need, no, they only need one more. Um, I'm not sure if they've seen the standings, and I'm not sure if they know that the current top of limbs is eight. That's a good point, um, actually. But one more. I mean, obviously, they're going to be going for the victory royale points as well in those top five. So, and they're shooting down. They've got a very, very well-structured space. Um, and what they've actually done is they've made two sky bases on top of each other. So if someone uh, eliminates... Aragonis, he's just gonna drop down on top of his teammates. Um, which is kind of a nice, you know, way to do things. Just yeah, just like an extra layer Secondary of protocol. Is yeah, <laughs> protocol, I like that word. Okay, yeah. okay, I see you. We'll use that for now. There you go. Oh, Four and so they, they, they see. <gasps> they spot one. Yeah, okay, so I think the way that these guys are playing, they've both got enough health and enough shield um, to play aggressive. And yeah, I well, I guess <laughs> their choice is just, we got a lot of resources. We're gonna yeah. stay up here. There's no rush. There's still 13 players alive, and it, it seems like they're very focused on getting that victory royale now. Oh! Ooh. So this is what I'm talking about. Unless you're diving down, taking those rifts or taking those jump pads really makes you vulnerable. Like, they got a couple hits because of that, and a couple hits in this game is... Ooh! Wixie finds so one! So if he finishes... There you go! All right, we've so got our new these guys, elimination leaders. They are the current kingpins. They hold the most eliminations. So is it possible for them to get... Another? 18. <laughs> 18. All right, let's figure this out. They need nine more. So they kill, uh, eliminate everyone in this lobby. Then. Literally every <laughs> single person in one fail uh, swoop. Just like that. that Mitro's still alive, Kitty. What's How? New? What's new? What You're do right. we expect? You know, why do, why do I just not this see this coming? This is the European Bizzle, too. He's just, they are just always alive. I don't know how they oh. do it. Oh, that oh. is not a sound you want to hear. Oh, Aragon is fell. People trying to take advantage of that. Yeah, his teammate is not. Oh, oh M11. He goes down to try and finish it off. No, that's okay. I mean, that was very, that type of play, it's just, in this situation, everything is going crazy. Uh, he thought he was going to get probably RPG'd again and taken down, so trying to get that lower ground is good, but it took him right into another team in another fight, which is not ideal. Oh, M11 finds an elimination there. Now we're looking <laughs> at... A 2v1v1, <laughs> taboo oh, right behind. Yeah, and again, it's Mitro. Look at him, just very quietly sneaking it's like, around. I'm gonna hang out down here, guys. You it's guys fine. Fight. I'd like to make top three because I'd like points. So I think so. this is top three. This is, there's one full duo and then That's two. Oh, <gasps> that Wait. was nice. Oh. oh gosh. Okay, so this is a 1v1v1 right now. This could go literally anyone's way. M11 is here. He's trying to lock down this elimination. Oh, wow. I wonder if they know it's Mitro. I guess you can only I assume. I don't think they do. So Steph just got shotgun. It's a 1v1. Wait, no, is this still a 1v1v1? One one? Yeah, 1v1v1, one one one, I believe. So they did get the knock. It's Mitro. He Mitro. eliminates one. <gasps> can Into he do it, next? though? No yes. way. Yet wow. again. <laughs> Stop it. Do I, have to, do I have to upgrade him from Demigod oh. to God? I don't really know at oh, this point. Oh, my. You know, he doesn't even dance. He's like, hey. 
upgrade me now. Oh, you know he's like doing the hokey pokey in his stream room. He's like, yes! Wow, Mitro. I I just can't even believe it. You know, we, we talked about it all day long. This guy survives till the very end. 